welcome back to the Weaver Corner. I am your host, Sloppy, and... Was that the cringiest thing I've ever done in this channel? Probably. Anyways, as you probably guessed from that tagline and from seeing part of the spine of this, today we are going to be talking about Fists of the North Star. This manga, this anime, it's fucking amazing. It's as if JoJo's was actually good. Anyways, I actually picked up this copy quite recently because it's being re-released and re-translated, remastered, all that good yummy stuff by the wonderful people at Viz and Sig. Viz Signature, basically. That shit. Anyways, I picked it up from Barnes & Noble for about 20 bucks, uh, which 20 bucks US, so that's about 27 Canadian and about 16 British pounds. So if you're a fatty like me, and in England, you can get this shit for free. I'm kidding, that was also a stupid joke. Fucking kill me. Uh, I'll leave a description link, link in the description to the Amazon listing if you're actually interested in buying it. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this shit. Now this isn't going to be a full series overview because this is, there's literally only one volume released right at this point. Volume 2 is still in the works, I believe it's releasing around September-ish this year. And when it does, I'm going to get my hands on it. It's going to... It's gonna be very, very, it's gonna be a very fun year on this channel. Anyways, really, originally released in 1983, written by Burden Sun and inked by Tetsu Ohara, Fist of the North Star, North Star became fucking legendary because of its main character, Kenshiro, being quite literally the ultimate badass. The only reason that why he's on, his journey is about, is literally a revenge story. And along the way, he blows people up just for being dickbags to other people in a post-apocalyptic Mad Max aesthetic-looking world. Like, goddamn, that's awesome. Anyways, he actually creates a small group with another prisoner that he was with in the first town that he truly, like, rested in. Uh, his name is Bat. He's, like, kind of like a swindler, kind of like a little bit of a con type of guy. But whenever Kenshiro helps someone, he's like, yeah, yeah, we helped you, but, uh, you know, we, this ain't a charity This ain't a charity show. Uh, you got to give us something in return, you know what I mean? He's one of those types of people, which is fair, but still. And a little, like, I think, wait, she's maybe, what, not even 10? Uh, she saw her parents murdered in front of her, uh, became mute for a while, and Kenshiro made her talk. I don't remember her name. Her, her, she's, like, kind of like this little kid. Doesn't really do much aside from, you know, be the one humanitarian, <laughs> basically. Uh, but yeah. Kenshiro uses an ancient Chinese assassination martial art called Hokuto Shinken, which utilizes the... I'm reading this off the script because I cannot remember these words. Which utilizes the Kekaru Hiko, uh, or the meridian channeling points of the body used in acupuncture. And in the sto uh, at the end of this, in the little af mini afterward... I believe it's the editor who uh, tells a story on how they, like, actually were able to create Kenjiro's power, the Fist of the North Star, in the way that the martial arts style worked, is that he's literally just walking through a shop, found an old book on acupuncture, and it had, like, a little legend in the back about this boy who was destined to die at age 19, then this dad went to go see, like, a, a, a fortune teller, and then the fortune teller told him to give, like, some hermits some food and water, the hermits turned out to be gods, and were like, nah, he can live till he's 90. And so they, they was like done via acupuncture, all that. And so, but when this book, the guy that wrote it was a medical student and he kept stimulating points that were supposed to help with ice, uh, with eyesight repair. And it ended up actually causing additional harm. And he's like, boom, that's it. We're just gonna have him go and hit shit on people's bodies. And then they're gonna explode. And that's what he does. And it is amazing. It's great. In all honesty, if, if somebody was pit up against Hokuto Shinken, I, I hope I pronounced that correctly, you would literally just, oh, it's somebody random versus this guy with who's utilizing the style of Hokuto Shinken. 
Let's get ready to rumble. I'm stopping before I get copyright claimed. And at that point, you just you enter the ring with pants double their weight because you just shit and piss them because you know you're fucked. Yeah, but as every positive like Hokudoshin can, there's always a negative, and that is the fifth fist of the South Star, the satanic version. I'm kidding. That's a stupid joke as well. I'm never making that one again. I'm lying. I'm going to make it again at some point, either in this video or in another review. Anyways, yes, there is another student to Hokuto Shinken, and he learns the Fists of the South Star, where Hokuto Shinken, or not, Nanto Shinken, is Fists of the South Star. Hokuto Shinken is the Fists of the North Star. North, South, yada, yada, yada. You get the point. Uh, whereas the North Star, Hokuto Shinken, strikes the meridian points uh, multiple times, uh, causing overstimulus and explosions, internal bleeding and explosions due to internal pressure that cannot be released normally. Like, you know, the actual clip of the Omairo oh Shindayu. Roll clip. <laughs> The reason why he explodes in bloody gory fashion is because of the internal pressure in the localized areas. Until like the third one, because there's like two exit points at that point, and eh, whatever. It's still bloody and it's amazing and I love it. Whew. Uh, Nato, I think that's the word. Nakato? Nanto? Uh, yeah, Nanto sin Seiken. Nato Seiken, that's what it is. Nato Seiken. Uh, works similarly, but it causes external wounds. So you see these little dots on old Ken's chest, old Ken's musculars. Let me find a better page of these of these scars on old Ken's musculars. Uh, they were caused by the kidnapper of his fiance. These these little dudes, you see those? Those seven scars it makes up a little bit the uh, dipper and the north star and shit around his dick. Yep. That's where the name Fist of the North Star comes, because he has the constellation of the North, of one of the Dippers, I don't remember which one, I didn't pay attention in school, shut up. Uh, and they, this is like the last thing they, this is like the thing that, that's like, oh, in legend, this guy, he's got seven scars on his chest, and he makes people blow up, holy fuck, we gotta get, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta stay away from him, oh, fuck, he's gonna bring, bring bad fortunes. Yeah. Uh... And it essentially the Nato Senken causes external wounds. Uh, so at one point, Kenshiro fights the other student of Naito, Nanto Senken. There's only two students Fist of the North Star, Fist of the South Star. Yadi yadi yadi. You get the point. And he fights him. And he loses, causing his girl to get kidnapped in front of him. Basic plot summary. Because it's that time. There's only one volume out at this point, as I said like a few times. Uh, but Fist of the North Star takes place in a post-apocalyptic world with a Mad Max-style aesthetic over it. It's based, it's caused by nuclear war, so, I mean, what were you expecting? Our hero Kenshiro is out on a revenge tale to kill the kidnapper of his fiancée, Yuria, and the one who who is also the one who caused his iconic seven scars, Shin. That is the other student, the blonde one. Yeah. <sighs> Ken has been taking the scenic route on his way to save Yuria, and he becomes a legend amongst the little people for bringing swift justice to those who cause harm to others, with one instant causing a murderer to break his own back by bending backwards in a 90 degree angle. It's pretty cool. Really gnarly. I love it. And another uh, scrap ending in the villain's guts flying out of his face and his chest after his gang robs a town of all its money and food. This North Star is really, really fucking good. If you read it or watch it, you're gonna have fun. It's got rich 80s action, 80s action and music, and sprinkle it a little bit of over the top, bit, bit of 80s cheese, a little, just enough where you can have fun. It has the classic tropes of storytelling with the damsel in distress and the dashing hero. But it doesn't go too far into it to where it's like, oh my god, this is Godzilla versus King Kong. Ha 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 ha, fuck that shit. He's looking like a weird shrimp. He's flying, what the fuck? That shit, it doesn't go too far into there. Thank God. The art is really, really clean in this. Let me try and find a good a good page to show y'all. Yeah, here's one in the beginning. This ain't part five JoJo's people. You can actually see what is going on. Is that joke over said? I don't know. I'm just gonna say it anyways. Shut up. 
like the art in even just this first volume alone is really, really nice. Oh yeah, and you know the Omaiwa um, Moshinde meme that I said earlier? And multiple times throughout it? Uh, he only says it once in the manga instead of uh, every few times he kills somebody. And this is when it happens. This is the first guy he does. He does in. Yeah. The art is really, really clean, as you just saw, and the story is a fucking legend. There's not much to say about it. It's known by so many people. It's just not that known here in the West. I wish it was because it is amazing. It's it's literally the pinnacle of manly anime up there with the great of Berserk, which we'll be getting into soon. Yeah, there's not much else I can say that hasn't been said by so many other people. Nine out of ten. If you enjoyed this shorter... Kind of just me quick fire review in this way, not even 12 minutes, it's about 10, fuck it. Uh, to make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, and as I said, there's going to be an Amazon link to the manga in the description if you're interested. So if you are, go check it out, it's great, you're, you're not going to have a bad time with it. Anyway, I hope you, tell you, I hope you enjoyed your stay in to the little weeb corner. I am your host, Sloppy, I am now shorter. And I will see you all in the next one. Later.